G'day folks, under a pale grey sky, I'm going trout fishing. Down there, with lures. But what lures? Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. After three months of candid tackle club box openings, it's great to be able to actually open one out in the field. This is the September Trout and Redfin Tackle Club box from tackleclub.com.au and if you've never seen one of my Tackle Club videos before, or of which I have quite a few, if you go online to Tackle Club and buy one of these, you can use my discount code ROBBIE10 to get 10% off and ROBBIE10S for subscriptions. Tackle Club is like a monthly lucky dip of fishing lures. You subscribe to the species, you might be subscribed to the trout and redfin box, you might be subscribed to the cod box, you might be subscribed to the estuary box or the, the bass and yellow belly box. And you just get lures that are applicable to those species each month and you never know what you're going to get. Right, let's see what we've got in the September box. I'll open it, I'll, I'll move it off camera so you can't see what's coming next. First of all, we have some Sixth Sense 2.4 inch stroker craw oh yeah six cents six cents stroker craw so six sixth cents soft plastics made in the usa little uh 2.5 inch or two and a half inch little crawfish looking things we have some damiki gold wing bladed spinners a pack of four of these damiki gold wing bladed spinners we have a fish arrow minnow. Oh, I might even start with that today. The water's quite murky today, and I'll tell you more about that shortly. But I might even start with that today because I like the colours. A fish arrow minnow. A Lua Labs Ignite the Bite Lua Labs soft plastic. Does it say on here exactly what size they are? They look like they're about, they look like three inch, some kind of uh, creature baits. Okay, we've got some Lua, Lua Lab soft plastics. They are a red colour. We'll find out exactly what they are when I go through the breakdown in a minute. And we've got some, okay, Damiki Moo, M-U. I've caught a lot of trout and, and redfin on these in the past, particularly trout. These are better. These are a great little trout lure. That'll be okay in the clear water as well. It's going to be a toss-up between them two. We've got a Lua Labs sticker. A Tackle Club sticker. A Lua Labs business card with contact details and everything for Lua Labs. And their website is www.luolabs.com.au if you want to know more about Lua Labs. Now, let's have a look at the breakdown. Here it is. We have the Lua Labs Punch Bug, 3.25 inch, $12.99. The Fish Arrow, 3 shot, 65 millimeter minnow, $27. A Sixth Sense Stroker Craw, 2.4 inch, $11.99. A Damiki Mew SP. 445 so Damiki Moo SP45 $13.99 and the Damiki Goldwind Spinners four of them $14.99 total value of $80.91 but if you've got a subscription or if you buy a once off box it's $49.99 and remember it's tackleclub.com.au and my discount code is Robbie 10 for individual purchases such as one box or a gift voucher or something and if you take out a subscription it's Robbie 10s right which one will I start with I might start with this fish arrow. The spot I'm fishing has pretty small fish. I'll tell you about it before I start fishing. I think I'd rather start with something this size. But I just like the look of that colour in the murky water. I'll tie that on. Now, a few of you will be familiar with this spot. There's a lot more water coming down now than what there usually is. And that's because we have had a lot of rain. And that's actually why I've come here first. Because I don't know whether there's going to be any other streams that are low enough or clear enough to fish. I am right up high in the headwaters here. Gee, that lure's got a good action. Folks, I came to this spot first because it's a, uh, a bit of a known hot spot and I thought I'd have the greatest chance of catching a fish here and I haven't caught a fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try other creeks and just see if I can dip my toes in from spot to spot and find a few honey holes. We have had a lot of rain and a lot of the creeks are really high and quite off colour 
It's going to be hard work to get a fish on the board today, but I'll do my best. Let's go and try another spot. I love the action on this lure. Oh, fish in it. Got him. Oh. Totally wasn't. I was asleep at the wheel then. Oh, he just swirled, he just tapped it as I pulled it out of the water there then. We've well, seen it, even in the dirty water, he's able to see this bright coloured lure. I was asleep at the wheel when that fish hit there then. Got him. Yes, he hit it just as I was about to lift it out of the water. Wow, even with the high dirty water, I've got no way of landing him, so I'm just going to have to go the deadlift and hope that it doesn't fall off and that my knot's nice and strong and oh, there he goes, there he goes <laughs> That's I didn't have a landing net with me, I couldn't get right down there there's actually about three feet of water down there, this is my favourite blackfish spot there's no way now I'm stepping into that dirty deep cold water but anyway, the fish arrow minnow is, uh, is, a, is go from the tackle club box I'm going to consider that caught because I know I've probably done everything I could to catch it I was only going to throw it back anyway he hit it a couple of times I'm almost on the board. This is really hard work. It's like walking on glue. My feet are sinking into the mud big time. Oh, got him. Oh, yes. Can I, can I get this one out? Don't go down that rapids. Whoa. They're climbing all over the lure despite the ore. The surplus water and uh, dirty water colour, they're climbing all over this. Uh... As soon as I saw this lure, I thought it was a goer. Right, got him. Didn't take long. Let's get a picky. I'm officially on the board. See you later, mate. Gone. Last time I fished this particular spot, I went flat on me back over there in the mud. So hopefully I don't replicate that again today. <laughs> Might have been a touch. Oh, it was a touch. He followed it out. He followed it out. First fish I've seen for ages. It didn't feel much weight, so he might come back and have another go if I'm lucky. There he is. Oh, he put it in his mouth. Oh, yeah. I saw him open his mouth and grab it. Oh, he did it again. I think he's a bit spooked now, that fish. It wasn't a bad brown. He actually opened his mouth and grabbed it three times. He didn't really hit it hard. But he definitely saw it and he definitely had a go at it. Folks, I've just changed lures. I've taken off that awesome fish arrow, which was working well. And I've decided to go with this Domeki MU just to give it a swim. Domeki Moo. Domeki Moo Moo. Now, if I hook a fish here now, I'm not sure how I'm going to land it. This is one of those cross that bridge when I get to it type situations, which is now. I've just got to that bridge. He's taken a Domeki Moo. Uh, cross that bridge when I get to it, I said. I'm at the bridge. I've got to the bridge. How do I get the fish? Can I get it over the log? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, your beauty. I get a quick photo. He's got a funny eye. And it's not the eye that I've, it's not the side that I've caught. It's on the other side. Oh, I can see what's going on. Now when I reeled this in, I said he had a sick looking eye, but now his eyes look fine. I think the line was just wrapped around and it made it look a bit dodgy. Very healthy looking trout in fact. Domeki Mew Muncher, see you later mate. Gone. You beauty. Right, so I caught a couple of trout on the fish arrow and one other follow, strike. And now I've got one on the Domeki MU. I'm nearly ready to finish this session. I've actually been fishing for a couple of hours. It's been very tough. There is just so much water flowing down the creek at the moment. I can normally step over here without barely getting my feet wet. 
I might put a spinner on for a while and just see how that goes before I finish up. Right, I've just changed the Domeki Goldwing spinner. One of four. There's four in the packet. Now, I don't know how this will go because a spinner would not normally be my first choice when the water's so high and off colour like this. It's spinning well. That's a start. It's certainly spinning well. Perfect spot for a spinner. Spinners work best when you've got distance like that, a long flat area to fish. Soft plastics, you can bob them up and down in tight little corners. You can't do that with spinners. But when you've got a nice long open bit like this, spinners are ideal. Oh, got him. Frightened me, that one, I wasn't expecting that. I swept my hand here, if I can. I got one on the little Damiki Goldwing Spinner just before I go home. You beauty. Lovely little trout. See you later, mate. Folks, there will be information in the video description below to Tackle Club, including clickable links and discount codes. I've had a blast today. It's been very tough with such high and off-colour water, but by sneaking around and getting into the spots that I could access, I've been able to pick up a few fish, and I've had an enormous amount of fun doing it. Thank you all very, very much for watching.